Yo, what's happening? It's been a quick minute since we did a Quick Tip Tuesday here on the channel. And I was working through a little project coming out later this week, and I came across a little audio issue that I fixed many a times, had this problem a lot of times, but I thought, hey, you know what? I better stop here, throw on the camera, and let's record this Quick Tip Tuesday because I think you guys might find this helpful when you're trying to sync external audio with a video track that you might already have. Let's jump in Resolve. I'll show you what I mean and show you how to fix it. Let's go. So in DaVinci Resolve, I have a couple things I already brought in my project. I have my audio track, which records externally from an MKE 600 microphone up here through an audio interface. Then I also have my video clip that I recorded on the C100 Mark II here has some internal audio, but the audio is better when I record it externally from my audio interface onto my computer. So what I always do is I always sync these guys up. I come in here, I select one, I select the other one, I right click, and I say sync audio by waveform. Now I go ahead and do that, and usually it lines it up pretty good. I give a good, you know, clap in the beginning there. Works out fine. Now if I take this clip and I drag it down into my timeline, you're going to notice a little something here. And I start playing it. On screen flow on C100 Mark II, sync them up. All right. Now what do you notice? It's only coming out of one channel, right? Now I record in mono from my external mic up here, but the video has stereo right and left track. Now, how can we fix this? You've got a few ways to fix this. Number one way is just to come down your audio track, right click and say, change track type to mono. You change it to a mono track. And now we should hear it through both speakers. Let's take a listen. Green on screen flow on C100 Mark II, sing them up. Okay, so I hear it on both speakers. Okay, no problem. That's one way to do it. But another way that you can do it is to actually come up into your clip in the media pool, right click on it, come on down to clip attributes right here, click on that. Then in clip attributes, we want to hit up the audio section. And if we look at our source channel right here, notice we have linked one, which is the audio that we linked up. We said resolve, sync it up. It linked one, but now on the right channel, there's nothing. It says mute. Well, we don't want that. If we click on this drop down, we can come say link channel one. So now essentially it's playing mono, but if you had a stereo track and you dropped it in there, it would work out just fine. You would hear the same audio coming through both your right and left channels. Big deal there. That makes a big difference. So I go ahead and hit okay. Now that clip is set up. You should be good to go. You wouldn't have to make your track a mono track if you didn't want to. But now if we look down in our timeline, check this out. You're like, Jay, where's my waveforms? I can't see my waveforms. How am I going to know where to make my cuts and stuff, right? Ah, got you covered, guys. Got you covered. So first thing, check your timeline view options right here. Timeline view options. And down here, make sure you've got your waveforms turned on. Now, I got them turned on, but I can't see it. Where's my waveform, right? So in order to find the waveforms and make them show up, we actually need to come and click on our clip that's already in the timeline. Right click. We again want to come to clip attributes. Now, because we didn't change our channel source before we brought it into the timeline, this particular clip still sees one track as muted. Now, whatever the reason, audio track one would be looking to our right channel here for our waveform. So if I change this from mute down to linked channel one and I hit OK, Boom, there's our waveform, it shows up, and now we can see it. Now, for some reason, when you sync up your audio and you've got a mono track, you might not see the waveforms, and that's probably why you're not seeing the waveforms, because in the clip attributes, you need to make sure that both the right and the left channels are looking to that linked audio track that you have for your clip. So that's it, guys. A quick tip Tuesday here on if you're having problems syncing your audio, you only got one channel audio, you don't see your waveforms, boom, here is your fix. I have to do this often and it's really easy and once you know the problem you know how to fix it you're going to be good to go guys all right that wraps up this quick tip tuesday guys thank you so much for watching if you found it helpful give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel would you all right we'll see you guys later in the week peace